All right, 2A community, uh, I am in my new setup. I've got my two new workbenches, my 72 gun gun safe. Uh, I got my new desk here. You can't see it at the moment, but the way I've got it set up is working right now for this video. But we're getting into the review of the Taurus TX-22 Competition SCR. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna get into some things real quick that set this SCR separate from the normal uh, TX-22 competition models. One thing is, is that it comes with a squared compensator from Tandem Cross. Uh, the, the way that this is set up is that the gas will blow upward and outward. So when the recoil comes up, it'll press the gun down a little bit, compensating for that recoil. Another thing that sets the SCR apart from the other competition models is the ambidextrous safety. You'll see that the safety is on both sides of the gun. Another thing that sets it apart is the fixed barrel and with the slide moving around the barrel there. Um, I believe this is offered in the other competition models, um, but with the SCR, you get a custom bull barrel. Now, I don't have a normal TX-22 to show you, but this is about two and a half times thicker than the normal TX-22 barrel. So, um, those are just a couple things that set it apart. And another one is it has a polished feed ramp. Um, it has another uh, tandem cross part inside of it. It's called the Eagle's Talon Extractor. So those are some things that really set this gun apart and I'm excited to put a nice sight on it. Uh, I believe I'm going to get the Hollow Sun 407 or 507. Let me know in the comments what you think I should get on this. One thing that I don't like about this gun already, uh, not getting into the, what I don't like about shooting it, but specifically about the gun itself that you'll find is that right here, the mag release it has a little bit of a sponginess to it. So I'm pressing it right now and it takes pressing it pretty far down for it to release. Now, in some ways, this is a good thing because you don't want to accidentally press it and the mag pop out. I'm sure you've had that happen before. So you have a little bit of cushion there, but still it can be frustrating at times. So getting into some of the shooting and if I can, I'll play some footage while I'm going over this. One of the problems that I'm having is with a compensator, and this is with nine millimeters as well, is you'll see that the gun can have a failure to eject. Uh, it's You need high pressure ammunition when you are shooting compensated uh, and because of the increased pressure. So I'm having that problem, but also back in 2020, before the pre first presidential election, I went ahead and I bought 10,000 rounds of 22 long rifle from a company called Arms Corps. I bought it at a great price, uh, and so I bought it in bulk. The problem is it's extremely cheap ammo, and it's been a while, and I went out and shot, and my Ruger 10-22, both of my Smith & Wesson m and 15 22s the Walther P22 and even the TX22 were having these failures to eject where uh, the slide would come back and pinch the bullet, or sorry, not the bullet, the casing. Uh, it would pinch the casing in that it would try to expel. And what that means is that it's not getting enough recoil power. Uh, so it has underpowered ammunition. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go shooting in my next day out of the range I bought some CCI mini mag and I'm going to go ahead and do 50 rounds of it with the compensator and I'm going to do 50 rounds without the compensator uh, with and without the compensator and I'm going to see if it jams at all. So the plan is and the hope is that it doesn't jam and that the malfunction was with the ammo. So if you want to see that footage, again, like and subscribe, but you're going to support this channel. You're going to get that information out to more viewers because I want to let you know when I bought the TX-22, I've heard nothing but good reviews. I'm probably just like you guys that are looking at this video thinking, man, I want this gun. This gun feels awesome in my hand. Everyone who looks at it, it's a beauty. 
but I'll tell you, mine jams every three rounds. And I say that, and I think that it's because of the ammo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my due diligence, and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna put some rounds through this using some good ammunition, not my uh, cheap ammo. So if you wanna see that, let me know. If you have any questions about anything that I use when it comes to my gun, I'm gonna put it in the description. Uh, I don't have a uh, link for this yet, but I use Shooter's Loop. But there is one from Amazon that I would recommend. I'm going to put it in the link below. Also, I use these brushes. I have these bristles uh, that I use. Uh, this one's more of a fine bristle. You've got the thicker nylon, and then you have the copper. And I have a video where I showed how to clean up a Charles Daly 1911. And then also, I use these black nitro gloves uh, when I clean up. And then I use this Hops Boar Snake Viper when I'm cleaning my gun. So what comes in the box? Well, you're going to see this is what it looks like. You got yourself the Taurus TX-22, a slot put out there if you want to get a sight put on it. Your compensator and other attachments will be inside of here. You will have your mags here and then you'll have your uh, load assistant there. So this is what it comes in. Very nice that it comes in its own little case with Taurus branding on it. If you're interested uh, in more content about the Taurus TX-22, like and subscribe. Please support the channel. More videos to come about the Ruger AR-556 and the unboxing of my newest MP-1522 and, of course, my wife's blue teal tur turquoise uh, M&P 1522 and more guns in the gun safe that I'm so excited to make some content about. So if you would support me, I would love it. And I'm excited to be making content with y'all watching. Thank you very much. And y'all have a great day.